Hi everyone. In this first tutorial, we'll take a look at the basics of your Maplewood gradebook, how to create a task and enter some marks for it. So as you can see here, I'm on the Maplewood's uh, start page. This will be a link in your off your school web page. Um, and you'll be given a login and password to sign into it. And so I will go ahead and log into this uh, demo account uh, called Teacher One. And it will take me to my start screen where it gives me access to an awful lot of information. And really, the only pieces on this page that you really will, throughout using Maple, would really want to spend time with is student records. And that's if you want to look up a parent's phone number, um, um, email address, uh, um, special needs codes, etc. The achievement, which is our Maplewood gradebook, and this is where we're going to be uh, looking today. And um, um, your attendance and seating plan. So that's where you'd be uh, recording whether a student is uh, in class or not. But this tutorial is about the gradebook, so I'm going to go ahead and press achievement. Again, achievement is where you would go to go to your gradebook. So it does give you a number of different ways of looking at your uh, gradebook. The most common place that you're going to want to go to is simply marks and comments by class. Um, you can also do marks and comments by student if you want to have a profile of how one student is doing relative to uh, all of uh, their coursework. However, um, marks and comments by class lets you see everybody at the same time and enter marks for everybody. So let's do that and uh, take a quick look at how we uh, create a task and enter marks for that task. So I'll go ahead and click Marks and Comments by Class. Um, this is just a make-believe class, so neither the teacher nor the students in here are real names. Um, the first thing you'll notice on this page is that at the top um, you have the teacher, which for most teachers will just be the one person, it'll be yourself. For admin, you'll have access to the teachers within your school. Um, just like within Students Achieve, um, when you enter your class, you choose which class you want to enter marks for. So we're entering marks for math, um, group one. Uh, for the report term, um, that's whatever report term you're in. So obviously uh, from September to November-ish, you'll be in term one. Um, November through March-ish, you're in term two. And um, April through uh, um, June, you're in term three. So at the point of this recording, um, We'll be looking at uh, the term three, and I'll just switch over to that. Um, if you're in, if you're not in the current term, you won't actually be able to enter uh, marks into that term. You can only enter marks into the current reporting period, and that's it. So you can see right now, I have um, my math class up. I have all of my students on the uh, left-hand side. Any students with warnings or alerts will have a little flag next to them. Um, this is Maplewood proper, so it does tie to the central Maplewood database. So for example, this student, um, obviously it doesn't have any content in it, but for a real student it would, um, has a medical diagnosis or medical information. So now, um, very simple looking screen, and I would like to actually start entering some tasks. So let's say I'm doing a patterns and relations task. Um, all I would need to do is simply click where it says patterns and relations, add a markbook category, which is a confusing statement, but really it's just the name they give a task. So if I say add a markbook category, I'm saying add a task. And um, the title is obviously what uh, that task is about. Um, probably give something a bit more descriptive. Um, identify when that task was given. So I will change this to something that's within that report period. 
Um, it will always be FSD categorical grading um, because that's our beginning, acceptable, proficient, and mastery. Um, publish is whether or not you want parents to be able to see this task when uh, they go on through the back end. So if you want to keep this hidden for the time being, you can simply unclick that and the parents will not be able to see it or switch it on and the parents can see it. And the description is the description the parents will see. Those are the only things you would ever change in here. Um, the denominator and weight have no meaning in this context because we're doing categorical grading. So just leave those blank or leave those as ones, which should be the default. So I'll go ahead and hit save, and you'll see immediately that uh, under patterns and relations, I now have my patterns performance assessment. And now when it comes to enter marks, it's very easy. If uh, Luke here um, achieved mastery on that task, I just literally click here, click on mastery, and maybe Emily got proficient, so on and so forth. Um, you'll see after a couple of minutes, it will do an auto save. And at that time, it will assign a color code. Um, your colors are uh, red for beginning, yellow for acceptable, green for proficient, and blue for mastery. And that gives you a nice little visual uh, cue to, uh, to record those marks. If you would like to add a comment, so if uh, you want to give some descriptive feedback to the parents in terms of why Emily got that proficient, this little icon here will give me the ability to add a note just simply by clicking on it. And that is basically your gradebook. That is how you would uh, add tasks, add, uh, um, add marks to those tasks for your students.